Hello, welcome to this Advanced Steel 2021 tutorial. In the previous lesson, we have created a column from elevation 800 to elevation 7500. Today, we are going to place another column at grid 1, B, 1, C, 1, D. Switch back to Work Plan tab, I am going to set the base and top level, first select elevation 7500 for the top and then select Elevation 800 for the base. In the Home tab, select the Column tool, then simply place in to Grid Intersection 1B. In the Advanced Steel Beam dialog box, select the section name. Choose Section HEA 240. Now rotate the column 90 degrees counterclockwise. Create another column at grid intersections 1, C, and 1, D, with the same procedure. Now we are going to create beams on elevation 4730. But first we will have to create one more level at attitude 4730. Type L plus 4730 millimeters for the elevation name. And select none in base level field, and put 4730 as attitude value, finally hit OK. Now draft and drop the elevation name 4730, which has just created to above the elevation name 2510. We are going to create a beam at level 4730, but first we must set this level active. To active the level 4730, right-click on the level 4730 and select active. You will be taken in to plan view for that particular level. And all you need to do now is simply creating your beams. We 
we are going to create a WPN140 beam. Left click on double channel back to back tool on the object tab. Hold down, control, and right click on screens and select node, and then pick 1D for first point, and 1C for second point. Now we are going to modify the beam position a bit. Switch to Naming tab. As you can see, the level L, plus 4730 has already been in level field of the Naming tab. Switch to Sections tab, select UPN Channel, and then select UPN 140 for Beam Index 1. Do the same procedure for Beam Index 2. We are going to check the gap between two UPN 140 beams, the gap is now 65. Propose that, we want the gap as 12 mm, so that we must move both UPN 140, 26.5 mm toward each other. Now right click on the beam, and select Advanced Properties, and then pick Section Tab. Type minus 23.5 and offset on X field for the beam index 1. and type 23.5 in offset on X field for the beam index 2. Now check the gap again. If you want to know whether the beam UPN 140 is on elevation 4760 or not, just simply go to Compound Beam Properties, check the level file in the naming tab. Or switch back to Work Plan tab. Right click on elevation 4730 name, and then select Mark Element. As you can see, the UPN beam has just turned to red. Now we are going to copy this UPN beam by Advanced Copy Tool. Select Advanced Copy in Tool Palette. In Transform Elements dialog box, click on Select Object, and then select the beam. For distance, click on mouse icon. Then pick grid D for the first point. Finally, hit OK to create a copied beam.
As you can see, we already have another beam between Grita and B. Now if you use Mark Elements tool, only the UPN beam between Grid C and D turning color. That means the UPN beam between Grida and Grid B does not attach to the element 4730. Now change the view of left screen to left. Right click on Elevation 4730 name, and select Attach Elements, pick the copied UPN beam. Select the both end point of the UPN beam for the geometry point. Hit Enter to finish. Now select the Mark element again. As you can see both UPN beams have been turned red. Check the height of the UPN beam. Now switch back to Structure tab. Right click on Elevation 4730 name, and then select Properties. Then change the top altitude value from 4730 to 1730. As you can see the UPN beam moved down, and lies on Elevation 1730. And if you change the top altitude to 4730 back, the UPN beam will be move up to elevation 4730. If you have any ideas or suggestion to improve my tutorial, don't hesitate to leave it below my channel. Thank you very much for watching. And see you soon.